the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this lesson, we're going to see how easy it is to import multiple records in bulk from an Excel spreadsheet. Because currently in our access table, we only have two records for two customers. And we need quite a bit more data to work with throughout the balance of this course. So instead of going through and adding all of these records manually, which is going to take a lot of time, I'm just going to import them all in one go. And this might be something that you find yourself needing to do from time to time. So let's take a look at how it works. Now, the most important thing that you need to remember is that the column headings in your Excel spreadsheet must exactly match the field headings that you have in your access table. If they don't exactly match, then access isn't going to know how to map the data across. So it's always worth checking that these column headings in Excel do exactly match your access fields. Once you're happy with that, let's give the spreadsheet a save, close it down and jump back to our access table. Now, in order to import, we need to do this from the external data tab and check out the first group here, import and link. This is where we can come to import data from multiple different sources, not just Excel. And we're going to see in the next lesson how we can do pretty much exactly the same thing using a text file instead. So if we go to from file, this is where we're going to find the option to import from Excel, but we can also import from an HTML document, an XML file or a text file. We can import from other database applications. So maybe I have information stored in another access database. I can import from there or maybe from an SQL server. I can even import from online services. So things like SharePoint list information I can import. And then we have other sources. We can create connections. We can create ODBC connections and even import information from an Outlook folder. Now for us, we have our information stored in an Excel file. So we're going to choose from file and Excel. So this opens up the import wizard. Now, the first thing we need to do is specify where our file is stored. So this is fairly straightforward. Let's click on browse. So I'm in the course files folder and there is the file ticket info import .xlsx. Once again, you will find this file in the course files folder. So wherever you download it to is going to be the location that you select it from. So let's click on open. Now we need to specify how and where we want to import this data. And we have three different options. So the first one, import the source data into a new table in the current database. So if I wanted to import all of those records into a brand new table in Access, so not into Tubble Ticket, then I would choose that first option. If I want to append these records onto the bottom of an existing table, I would choose the second option. And that is the one that we're going to use. The final option allows us to link to the data source by creating a linked table. And we're going to talk more about linked tables a little bit later on. So we're going to choose the second option. We want to append these records to, we only have one table, tuple ticket. Let's click on OK. Now you're probably going to get this message. The table you're trying to append to is currently open and must be closed before proceeding. Do you want to save the changes and close the table? Well, yes, I do. So now we can see in the import spreadsheet wizard, a preview of our data. So I can scroll through and take a look at this just to make sure that everything is in order. We can use the horizontal scroll arrow to scroll across and check to make sure everything is looking fine, which it is. So let's click on next. We're importing to tuple ticket. Let's click on finish. And then at the final stage, we get the option to save these import steps. So if you find that you're always importing data from Excel, you could choose to save all of the steps that we've just been through. So that the next time you do this, it's going to jump you straight to this part of the wizard, saving you a few minutes of your time. Now we're not going to save the import steps and we're not even going to import our data from this Excel file. Because what I want to do is actually import the data in the next lesson where we do pretty much exactly the same thing, but using a text file instead. Just know that if you were to click close, all of those records are going to import into Tubble Ticket. And you're going to see the outcome of this in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.